feeling like I'm fresh out boost. Ooh. If they want the drama, got the O's. Shit the whole crew to the cruise. Do, do it, you don't even see him Today, I'm going to show y'all my early baldy hair routine. In my last video, I talked about why and how I shaved my head, and here we are, eight days later. If you can tell now, my scalp is a little darker, which I love, just a week of sunlight, and I'm... Today, I'm gonna be using Miel Rice Water Clay Mask. It's one of the only products I actually use by Miel, and because it's made for scalp, hair, and body. I'm also trying Never Salty by TPH, which is a scalp scrub that says it lifts dead skin and build up from scalp to help promote hair growth. And I thought that would be perfect for what I'm trying to do because all I've got is scalp right now. So let's nourish it. So you know how they say putting lotion on dry skin is like trying to put cold butter on cold bread. You need something for absorption. So the same is for your hair. It's okay to get it wet. The clay mask smells like a clay mask. <laughs> I used to do Aztec clay masks like five years ago in college, but what I love about this one is that it never really solidifies and gets real hard and crunchy and difficult to rinse off. It's got like some moisture to it. You know how they say curly hair people leave conditioners and stuff on longer than they're supposed to? Well, I only kind of did that. <laughs> it says leave one for 15 to 30 minutes, but I got caught up cooking and left it on for probably closer to like 35 or 40 minutes. And post rinse, I generously applied the Never Salty Scrub. When I tell you, it immediately cleared my sinuses, like emphasis on the peppermint. <sighs> I gave myself a much needed scalp massage, and this probably took four to five minutes just because it was so refreshing. And it was a great quality, like good texture scrub too. Not the type where the crystals are scrubbing too hard and it hurts, or one of those ones where the granules disappear almost on contact and just like, mm, is this just soap, you know? I used this silicone scalp massager to really get into those newfound grooves in the back of my head. <laughs> Second rinse down. I used a finger full, like this much, of hair food as a base. I found that when I use a little of this first before my oil, it lasts all day. And then about a quarter and a dime amount of Jamaican black castor oil. I really learned in this first week that even bald heads get build up. So I've committed to making sure I do um, the first half of this routine weekly or bi-weekly if I get too busy, which I'm not sure if that's too much yet, but we'll see. I make sure my head stays moisturized, which you should. But wait, what if I had done that the other way around? Here we are, four weeks after cutting my hair. I mean, shaving it off bald. And I'm trying this process a little differently. I read in my research that you should actually do a scrub before you do a mask so that your hair is softer and absorbs everything better. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna start off by brushing my hair. I actually didn't start off brushing my hair until about three weeks in, but here we are, never too late. So I'm doing all the same things, but backwards this time. So here I am putting that never salty, <laughs> oop, I'm putting that never salty on my scalp, rubbing it in real good. It feels a little different this time around because I actually have a little bit of length to it. You see me, you see me? So when I rub it, I can feel the hairs moving. I can feel how much softer my hair is before the mask. I go ahead and wash my face with my turmeric lemon bar by Mahalia Organics and then put some toner on my face since I will be getting in the water one more time. Here we are, rice water clay mask, boom. I rinse it off. Go ahead and put my hair food and my Jamaican black castor oil on, and I'm all set. I'm so glad that I changed the order of how I'm doing this now because I can feel the difference in my hair, and I'm really, really loving the growth. I'm really feeling myself because I'm building a process with hair products that aren't damaging my hair. You already know, like it up, say something, and stay connected by subscribing. All right, bye.